Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a palette bingo on the look I have on right now. I am so excited for it because I am loving this look and I am using the W7 on the rocks palette. It is a dupe for the subculture palette, let's be honest, but this is so beautiful. It is creamy pigmented and I am just loving it so much. So if you want to see what colors I picked and how I used them, please keep on watching in this video. So I am going to be picking my five shades through random.org because that is just the easiest way for me to do it. So I am typing in 1 to 14 because there are 14 shades in the palette. Yeah, and I am going 1 to 7 and 8 to 14. So the first one I have is number 9. Please, can you see it? I have no idea if you could see that. I'm excited about that. It is this shade right there, which is one of my favorites in the palette. Look at that shade. That is one swipe. Look at that. That is beautiful. The next one is 13. And that is this mustard yellow shade, which is a matte. I love this one. This is very yellow green look so far. It would be so cool if I can get that. Yeah. The next one is number 3. As I just said, a very yellow green look. It is this shade right there, which is also a matte. I have an eye look in mind using this, and that might be the most obvious one so far, but I have two more shades to play with. And the next one is number five. It's a burgundy, that one. Oh, the, these have names. Whoops. I will tell you the names after I have gotten the last shade. Ooh, another shimmer shade. It is number four, which is this copper shade. That is beautiful. Oh my god. Look at that. Okay, I really, really like this color scheme. This is beautiful. I'm excited. <laughs> so I will go clean off my fingers and think about a look and then I will be right back. Okay, I have primed my eyes and I am ready to go. Again, I have dirty brushes because I am a fool and I am lazy and I don't want to clean my brushes. But I am cleaning them on my microfiber towel. They don't have any excess color on them, if that makes sense. Should we just go with the obvious, this one in the crease maybe? I really want to do this in the inner corner, but I think it is going to be a, bit, a little bit too dark. But it's a palette bingo. You need to explore. The mustard shade, this one, it is called Pina Colada and it is this one right there. Going in with a fluffy brush on the Pina Colada shade. Don't have a lot on my brush, but... I'm going to tap that into the crease. I should have worn my new H&M top in this color. That would have been awesome. On camera this lightning is really really nice, but in real life it is so dark. I might not be able to film another video after this. I feel like I'm very very close to the camera right now. To get the color and I am taking it real high because I have hooded eyelids and that's just how we roll with it taking a clean brush and just blending a little bit I feel like the burgundy is so obvious but I just really like the yellow and the burgundy together because if I wanted to have a green in the outer corner I would have chosen one of these but sometimes obvious is nice you know I am going to take the burgundy it is called Merchino cherry something 
Ooh. Let me tap off some of that. I know I'm taking it very far in, but I thought it was was going to make a nice transition to my lid shade. And then I'm just taking what we used in the crease and just blending it out a little bit. Building the outer corner up again. And then we are going in with the orange shimmer shade, I think. And that shade is called Espresso Martini. So beautiful. And I think I'm going in with my finger with that one. I think that is how I'm going to get the most pigment. So now I have layered it like three times. This is the way to go with most of the shimmers in these palettes, but I really like it. Okay, um, I'm going to do the rest of my base and so uh, and then I will be right back to do the two last shadows with you guys. So I have done my base, lips and eyebrows and stuff like that. And now we're going to finish all the eyes. So I'm going in with the green shade right there. It is called Mart Martini Olive. Yeah. And it is the third shadow that I picked for this bingo. Just tapping it in and I'm going to apply that on my lower lash line. Just tapping up the excess and then I am going in with the maroon shade. Just a little bit to tie it together out here. Okay, let's try my experiment and putting this color, the champagne toast, in, in a corner. It is the last shade I have in my color range over here. Hopefully it's not too dark. Let's try. It is makeup fun, you know. It can work. Yeah. Just blend it in with the coppery gold. I kind of like that actually. The only color I don't like so far is the green on my lower lash line, which I was kind of excited to get actually. But this color... Mm -hmm. It is everything. Look at it, it's so pretty. So, same brush, just going in with the Martini Olive, the green shade. Going in with it again. This is the final look for my palette Bingo with the W7 on the Rocks palette. I am loving this kind of warm toned eye look with the pop of green thingy. I love this so much and it screams fall to me. I have done a few looks where I focus more on the greens. I will pop in a picture here because that is actually really really pretty. Um, so it is completely different from what I got now because I used the more darker greens. But yeah, so you can get a very warm toned look with it, but you can also get a very cool toned green look. And I love that this yellow greeny shade, it, it did work in the inner corner. I'm so happy right now. So yeah, that is everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see more palette bingos, please let me know. I am on a kick of using my W7 palettes. It's, it's fun. Right? It's, it's fun to use your collection. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any new palette bingos or whatever I upload. I do a lot of panning as well. Um, but I really wanted to do um, yet another palette bingo because I have been loving them lately. I hope to see you guys next time and until then, please take care.